indirect tactics, efficiently applied, are inexhaustible as heaven and earth. What's up, fellas? Welcome to the garage. So let's say you have an old torque wrench and it just so happens that you don't really trust it. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy and foolproof way to check your torque wrench for accuracy. I'm currently bolting down these bolts here. Those are M12 bolts and according to specification, they need to be tightened to 100 Newton meters. So that's the value I'll be testing this torque wrench for. But you can do this test at any value you want. Essentially, torque is just a force working on a lever to the pivot point. So let's say this is our pivot point here. This is our lever. And here's our force working on this lever. This, let's call that L. If this force equals, let's say, one Newton and this lever equals one meter, then the torque around this point here will equal F times L, which is one Newton meter. That is correct. Very simple. So in our case, we want to test our torque wrench at 100 Newton meters. The length of our torque wrench happens to be half a meter. Now we want to figure out how much force we need to apply at this length to achieve our 100 Newton meters. How we're going to do this is we're going to just divide this with L. So torque divided by L will be our force applied. Our torque is 100 Newton meter, length is 0 0.5 meter, equals the needed force to achieve that on this lever. So of course we, we cancel out the meters here and this equals to 200 Newtons. Since we don't really have a weight scale in Newtons, we'll have to transfer this into kilograms. To get kilograms out of this number here, we'll have to divide it with uh, gravitational acceleration. Pedrinho Ticina! We'll have to divide it with gravitational acceleration. And since we are currently on planet Earth, this will be 9.81 meters per second squared. But that's not really important. We'll just simplify this to simple number of 10. We'll divide 200 by 10 and we got ourselves a nice little 20 kilograms. Now this here is the weight we're gonna hang on our torque wrench to check it at 100 Newton meters. I'm never coming back to school, never! <laughs> so next thing we do, we just source something that weighs 20 kilograms. For example, this weights here, <laughs> those will be perfect. Next, we got something to hang our weight on the torque wrench with. I'll be using this uh, wire of this coat hanger here, like so. This will do just fine. Now, let's go ahead and fix this torque wrench in a vise. Now, let's go ahead and set it to our desired number of 100 Newton meters. There we go. Now we have to make sure that this thing, our lever here, is totally horizontal. That'll be okay. Now we'll use this wire to hang our weight on this distance on our lever. Okay, let's hang the weights on. Now let's measure things up to be exact. Okay, a little bit to the back. So now we're in position, but now what? The torque wrench didn't click at all. Now what we do, we can just gently help it just a little bit. Oh, there we go. 
needs a, just a little little bit of push and that's it yeah that'll do here if I give it just a little bit of tiny push it clicks so I'd call it this a pretty accurate torque wrench at 100 Nm. Keep in mind that this experiment or this measurement we took here doesn't confirm that torque wrench is accurate on the whole measuring range. But we sure did confirm that it is pretty accurate at our value of 100 Nm. And in order to keep your torque wrench accurate in the long run, you should always release it when you're done using it. All the way to the zero. So there you have it guys, a quick and easy method to check your torque wrench. Just so you won't be breaking any bolts or under torquing things. Now that I got my torque wrench checked, I will happily carry on with my engine assembly. That's it for today. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Be good!